a lot of this detail from the undercuts, but all this area around the eyes, very important. Make sure there's no eyeball bubbles that will cause trouble. So I'm gonna paint this on real dry. All that in the lips. Make sure that gets captured. All that hair detail, very detailed hair. We might lose some of this hair when the mold comes out. Uh, we're gonna do our best to get as much detail as possible. Make sure no bubbles are trapped. Oh my God. This is what they might call a, a beauty coat. All that detail in there. Try to get in there, get as much covered. All that inner cut right there, that's gonna be a bear. That's a good place for bubbles to go. Good place for air to get trapped, so get in there. See if I put it all right here on the flat area, that way I'm not flooding the intricate parts. I'm gonna turn it so you can see. So, gotta get in there. Oh, that nook, oh, that crevice right there. I don't want to put too much material. I don't want to flood it out, as they say. There you go. That's a good way to just get thorough coverage without bubbles. Get all that detail. Got to get in there. There you go. See if I come from off the side here and then I work my way in, swab in there. Don't bring the brush up too much because that puts air in there as well. A little paint pot. This is thick, it's almost like melted uh, peanut butter or something, but. Gotta uh, be careful. Get the air stuck in there. I'm gonna spin it. Gonna spin it back so you can see what's going on. Areas like this, it's easy to get. Undercut. And then swab it up. And all this area, all where the dark is, that's all sculpture detail. That's fine fur lines. Very important we get those kind of painted in. You see the solid pink right here? That's a nice coat. That makes sure all that detail. All those little hairs get copied. Every bit counts. The crook of the knee, the back of the knee right there, very important. Flip it in a little, even right there. This little transition area, very important. Hand, get those cloven hands, all that detail, very important. Back to the foliage. All those flower petals, very important. Just come off right here, level area, mash it in, mop it in. There you go, mop it in. Get those details. Something coming this way. This way. A lot 
lot of intricate detail here. Very important to get it all. Can't come in with too heavy a brush. Yeah, that's good. There we go. See, <clears throat> see how handy this spinning podium is? Mm -hmm. That way I'm not doing all the work. That's just doing all the work. I'm not driving myself crazy. That's why I'm not chasing you around a table while you're trying to film it. <laughs> that way everybody is getting the job done. tail make sure that tail all these nooks all where the shadows lie that's where everything important happens pouring it it's obvious everything on top is going to take care of itself we're fighting gravity here that's gonna be hard to film but there's top over here i got it right. you see that here come the bubbles See the bubbles? Yeah. That's where we come in with the canned air. Oh, I see them. There's yeah. I'm going to film the bubble. Yeah, I'll show you, show you something. You just focus on the bubbles. Okay. See, so we got to come in with some canned air or something like that. But... Yeah, you see this? Yeah, look at the top of the head. See those bubbles coming up? Mm hmm. And that's what we're doing. You're going to be chasing bubbles. Be nice if you have a vacuum vacuum pot. You can vacuum out all the air before you even begin. We don't have that luxury right now. Doing everything old school. All you can do is swab it in. And it's diligent. It's elbow grease at this point. So this is pulling. That's not good. There's nothing wrong with it, but you might as well put it to work. We're trying to get detail here. Yeah. So, if it has to be a real thin, almost like a film, so be it. It's going to naturally pull, meaning it's going to find a level place, just like any fluid will. But, might as well just put it to work. It also gives it a place for bubbles to hide. And I mean, this hair is real intricate. And that's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna trap air. And still fight it. We're doing all this so that we can follow up with just a straight pour. So when we straight pour, all this work will marry to it. And hopefully we got all the work out of the way. Look at that, see how to scoop that up? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn this so you're not having to stand on your tippy toes. There we go. I'm not using any kicker or catalyst of extra nature. So we got a pot life of an hour. So I got an hour of chasing bubbles and chasing pools. Wow. There you go. So it sets up in an hour, but it's like a day to cure. That's correct. See, there's other things you can put in there. You can put thick, thick zootropic agents to make it thick, and then you can just do what they call a brush up mold, or as opposed to a box mold. You just fill her up and walk away. In the brush up mold, you can brush it up, and you give it a fiberglass jacket, a backing. And that's the other way to do it. I'm kind of doing like a fusion of a brush up and a box mold here. 